Hi, how are you? It's Miss Piper from the Allensburg Public Library here today with family stories and conversation. I'm so happy to be with you. Today's book is The Book of Mistakes. You haven't had made any mistakes, have you? I kind of did just there with trying to get those words out of my mouth. This book is written and illustrated by Karina Lukin and published by Dial Books for Young Readers. The Book of Mistakes. Look at this title page. The Book of Mistakes. Can you see a mistake already? Where is it? Book of Mistakes. It started with one mistake. Making the other eye even bigger was another mistake. But the glasses, they were a good idea. The elbow and the extra long neck, mistakes. But the collar ruffled with patterns of lace and stripes, that was a good idea. And the elbow patches, they were a good idea too. The bush was another good idea, dark and leafy so that you couldn't see through it. To the frog cat cow thing, another mistake. The big space between the ground and the bottom of the girl's shoe was a little bit of a mistake too. But the roller skates, those were definitely not a mistake. The second Frog cat cow thing made a very nice rock. And the girl with the very long leg looks like she always meant to be climbing that tree. Even the ink smudges scattered across the sky look as if they could be leaves, like they'd always wanted to be lifted up and carried. And what about the girl? at that.
Do you see? How with each mistake, she is becoming Do you see? Now? Who she could be? The end. The Book of Mistakes by Karina Lukin. All right, now for the conversation. I have three questions, three topics for us to reflect on or to think about after reading our story. And you can choose to do all three or maybe you just want to pick one of the questions and have a really juicy talk or have a really juicy, wondering, thinking time for yourself. Question number one. Do you think this story would work as well without the pictures? What did the illustrations bring to this story? They are so stunning. I really do encourage you to check this book out just so you can see they are so full and rich and packed. Question number two, were there parts of this story that surprised you? There were um, some unexpected places for me. Were there some for you? What were they? And question number three, have you made a mistake when you were drawing or making art? What did you do about it? Did you crumple the paper up and throw it away? Did you get frustrated? Or did you work with the mistakes and turn it into something new and unexpected? What about in real life? How about when you make mistakes in real life? What do you do about those? All right, my friends, thank you for joining. Have a happy day, have a happy week, and I will see you next time. Bye.